shit. You know, usually Sunday, I usually don't schedule interviews Sundays. Niggas don't you never want to sit down on Sunday. You not usually niggas be watching a football game or something. What's your best looking like? My oh shit. I hit I hit um the Giants and the Browns, I hit for them to win. Malik Neighbors. I hit no, I hit Malik Neighbors. He I ain't gonna lie, I put him for two touchdowns. This nigga got two touchdowns. <laughs> I put uh Deshaun Watson for hundred yards, he got hundred passing yards. Oh yeah, okay. And then and a touchdown. Okay. And then single tire, forty rushing yards. He got forty rushing yards. Yeah, that's so not, it, it that's, wasn't a crazy part. That, it was like three hundred. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. See, I only bet. I don't even know why. I only end up betting on the Ravens games. Like, I will never bet on no other games. You can't. You can't bet with the Ravens, bro. You can't. The hometown team always let everybody down every year. You know what I'm saying? And you know they get to the same point every year, and then they lose. So it's like you can't even pitch your life on that. Like, just let them go. Damn. Damn. I I, I I don't lie. I had to hear that shit because I was, I was the only nigga. I was like, mm-hmm. no, nah, they gonna hit this. You in denial? You can't be in denial, bro. <laughs> And I ain't saying they ain't a good team. They better than my team. Yeah. But my team undefeated right now. So and we we defeated right now. Yeah, you one and three. <laughs> so it's like no one and two. One and two? No, I think today made it one no, it's one and two. One, one and two, two yeah. Right. But I ain't say y'all gonna stay like that. That might be our only two losses this year. You better be. The Ravens like that. <sighs> well so Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to start this episode with football talk. Um I kinda like to just breeze into the intro. I don't, I don't really have a set intro, but welcome back to the show. Number one podcast on the Izzerf. We here with another week, another banger. Somebody I'm excited to talk to, a personal friend of mine. Today we're talking to neighborhood Pablo. <laughs> yes, we are. What's up? What's up with you, man? Shit, cooling, man. I'm cooling. I'm I'm, I'm happy to sit down and talk to you finally. We, this is our second time trying this. Yeah, I'm a hey, Chris. I take I take that. I'm ain't gonna lie. <laughs> My schedule was just crazy. I'm like, you was just so free flowing. You like, yeah, come on. I'm like. Damn, I don't even know. Mm-hmm. I told him, yeah, the whole time I can't go this day. I can't. I'm like, nah, but I fuck with your understanding and your flexibility. Yeah, niggas be busy. Niggas got a whole life. Yeah. You got to realize that. Especially like, you know, I'm just a regular nigga. I got a job and shit, you know. So, you know, it's, you know what I mean? You got to be respectful of niggas' schedule and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, you said you got a you said you got a busy schedule and shit. What is, what is your schedule for this? What is your, you got a daily routine or something? Shit. I ain't going to lie. Most days, I just wake up. Sometime, like Friday, I stayed in the crib the whole day. Mm-hmm. Most days, I wake up and go get it. Mm. But if not, I might stay in the crib the whole day. Or I might take my little brother to school or something. Oh, all right. Like, it, man, it, it depends. Like, it depends on how I'm a, like, I can mix it up for real. Mm-hmm. How I can do it. If I, I, I don't know. But most of the days, it'd be like that. Like, is it something that you always end up doing on a certain day? Like, do you like a? Do you have a certain day for? Do you have? You don't. You don't even have your shit routine, huh? I'm be honest. I come home usually like around the same time every day, but most of the time, I don't really have like no routine. I wake mm-hmm. up, I go grind, come home. That's it. Like right. sometimes now, I try be. I try to implement the, the booth on the weekends. Okay. But like, I don't try to do it like during the week because like if I'm. If I'm tired or I'm high or something, I'm mm. ain't going. Yeah. But on the weekend, it should be cool. How long How long have you been recording? Shit. Probably like... Like... In the studio, probably like... Maybe three years. Three years? Maybe That's three fresh. Years. Yeah, maybe three years Damn. in the studio. I mean, that's that's fresh right there. I mean, a lot of people. Yeah. They, they, what, what made you wanted to get? What, what was happening around your life three years ago that made you want to get into rap? Shit, I mean, well, my mother, she was a poet. So like, mm-hmm. when I was growing up, I always was like, I always was like, I didn't know it, but I could rap. I just could rap. I didn't know if I could or couldn't. But I always would like rap to myself. I never told nobody. Like I never was like rapping in front of people for real. But then my man's um, cat, my man cat, we was we was working at Chick Fil A together when we was like sixteen, and I was I was just playing around, I was rapping, and he was like, "Nah, like that shit was hard." Like we was just <laughs> fucking around, but he's yeah. like, "Nah, dummy, like that shit was hard." Like you like that? Like you, you? Like, he was like, "You wrote it?" I'm like, "Nah, I just was rapping." And you then, don't never write? Nah, I never wrote a song. Damn, I can't. If you I write a song, that shit gonna be booty. <laughs> it's gonna be booty. <laughs> I can't write a song. So are you lie. recording on the audio? Okay. I'm ain't gonna lie. I can't write a song, bro. I don't Damn. know how. It's like writer's block. Like, <laughs> I only can rap when like if I hear a tune, 
I can make a whole song. Okay. Just from hearing a tune. Yeah, just but, from hearing the vibe. But if I like, like uh, what the fuck? Like I made this song called Us, right? Mm-hmm. But it was like I I used I sampled Mariah Carey. Mm. We belong together, whatever. Ooh, that's hard. But like I was literally sitting in the like I was sitting in the crib. I was playing a game, and I was like, "You can send me a pic, what you like." I be coming too fast overnight. Mm-hmm. If I'm locked in the change, you're all right. Yeah, I know you're the type that all right. And I, and I was like, oh, like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then I recorded it on my phone, like wow. me rapping it. And then uh-huh. I went straight to the studio. And you already had the beat mixed up and everything? Nah, nah, nah. nah. Oh, you had to get, you I had to get it. But, but I knew where I was going. You knew what it. you wanted type shit. If I ain't know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, what a lot. That's what a lot of people don't understand. That like some, it's a different types of ways. You you can know how to rap, but then you can also just be a natural creator. You know what I'm saying? And you just you just know how shit sound. You just know how you. That's you, Chris. That's you. Seriously, when I heard this shit one time, I didn't even know. Ron, I'm I'm listening to Ron. I'm like, Ron, this song hard. It's hard. Then I. All I heard was you coming at bitch. I'm like, hold on. Who is this? I said, who is this? I said, this nigga hard. Nigga Ron said. Oh yeah, that's Chris. Oh hell no. I said, hey, I don't know no Chris's. He's like, nah, you know Chris. I'm like, <laughs> I said, Chris, Chris? Chris, Chris. He said, yeah. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, nah, this shit hard. Yeah. Cause that crazy. shit said Blaze Chris. Uh-huh. So I'm like, I don't yeah. know no Blaze. Yeah, niggas, that's how niggas usually pronounce me. What is it? It's Blase. It's like an Italian E on the end, you know. God damn it. But people don't even know that I rap and stuff. No, nah, no, Chris. I know nah, Blase. All right, that's hard. <laughs> I, that's harder than Blaze. Yeah, no, it's, it's like, not Blaze. Cause you black, so it'd be like. Yeah, no. Blaze, who the hell? Blaze, no, nah, that would that would not that wouldn't have been it. I'm happy I've been named Blaze. <laughs> Blase harder though. Niggas call me Blaze all the time. Niggas don't know how to read, bro. They don't ask you like. No, I, mean, I like, seen that that uh. I seen the E, like I saw how it looked. Yeah, it's Italian. But e. I didn't know. Yeah, what it was. blase. Yeah, that's what you said. It's blase. I, like sometimes, like when I used to do shows and shit, I they I had to tell them and shit. But it's just it doesn't it doesn't matter. Shit, nah, they gonna know your name though. <laughs> fuck that shit. But we're not here for me. This is not a Chris interview. This is a neighborhood Pablo interview. Where did you get your name from? Uh, shit. So growing up, like in the neighborhood, mm-hmm. I was always fresh. I was always just a fresh little nigga for real. Mm-hmm. And. I would always have like a pocket full of money. Like it just, like whether it be dollars, fives, ones, twenties, whatever. Mm-hmm. I always had bread like in my pocket, like from like the hustlers run away or like, you know what I'm saying? My uncle, my mother, whoever. And when I go to school, I would like bless my niggas. Like whoever I'm with, I bless everybody. Let's go to the store for real. This okay. is like as a young kid, six, seven years old. Mm-hmm. And they just was like, nah, this nigga like Pablo. He like basketball. <laughs> like he just always got the bread. Granted, it wasn't a lot of bread. Huh? Yeah. 2020, but. Yeah, as a young nigga, that's a lot of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. Your baby. When you able to take care of your niggas going to the grocery store, going to the store, the corner yeah. store, that's we, that's a lot of money. We, I probably had like thirty dollars. <laughs> that's a, that's a lot and of money. We, we we probably spent like six dollars. So you know what I'm saying like it was cool. I ain't gonna lie. No, thirty dollars back then around that age is, is a lot. Shit, hell, man, that's I a lot. To, I thought I was rich. No, me I too. I thought I made it. I had 30, <laughs> man, I'm like thirty. I'm in there. Oh wow. What um, what when what, what um what high school did you go to? I went to like, I mean, I'm gonna just say one. I went to Green Street, Green, Green Street, Street Academy. Okay. It's right there on, it's right there on uh, Hilton. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. It's, it's, it's like, like yeah, I already say it's 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 on Hilton, but like the village right there too. Like you yeah. can go, you can go to the village. That mm-hmm. was like the dilemma when niggas was going to school. Like yeah, you come if you 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 can be from the village, but if you walking through that split, once you go to them Hilton boys, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, it get crazy. So Trust like, me, I remember. Yeah, so it's like, you got... I grew up right behind the village. So I was just a village nigga by default. Yeah, you was, yeah. You, you, they sprinkled you in there. Yeah, I you ain't even... have an option. I ain't have an option, for real, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what, um, what's some of the key things that you feel like you... um For uh, upcoming artists watching this, what's some of the key things you think you need in a song? To, in today's... To in a it? song, like... you. I mean, of course, I feel like you gotta have, like... A hook to, to draw man, in mm-hmm. but like this ain't back in the day like have fun don't be don't be too like factual in terms of like you trying to like you can you can spread whatever view or paint whatever picture you trying to paint mm-hmm. but don't be too factual about it or too old school about it because like niggas don't want to hear that niggas, don't lie. no niggas don't want to hear that. like like you know like you putting certain things in songs like I put in my song, 
if I'm locked in the chains, you, I, you're right. Like, I know you're right. Mm-hmm. That's not something that'll be put in a song back in the day because they was preaching freedom and all of that. But I'm living in reality. It's 2024. Yeah. It's an opportunity. I'm black. It's a and I'm young. Yeah, for so it's real. an opportunity. I'm gonna be locked in the chains. That's how it you is. Know what I'm saying. So it's like you know, that's how I look at it. You just don't, you know, you gotta move with the times, change with the times. Get up, get somebody something to listen to, and if you go and give it, get talk to him about some shit. Make sure it got you got a nice cadence. Yeah, like it just flow out the tongue. So yeah. then when they say it, they like no, nah, they said to somebody else. Somebody be like, no, nah, that's hard. Yeah, who who song that is? Who that? Is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, damn, that's 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 pretty detailed. That's you, I hope you I hope you was writing wrote, wrote that down. I hope somebody wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, talk about some of some of like um, I don't know. You said you said before um, you um, how you was talking about how to relate how in reality about jail and stuff. You used to talk to me before how you went to jail before. Do you want to talk about that? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean that's cool. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So what was that all about? So like. I'm be honest, man. Like, you know, I went to jail because of somebody I trusted a lot. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. and I loved him. I, I did. I, I had a lot of love for him, but like, you know, it, it ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? And it was it was a close relative. It was a family member. Mm-hmm. So it was like, and it was and it was something that in court I was proven not to do. It was throughout. It was it, evidence. It was not enough evidence. What it was inadmissible. You know, mm-hmm. judge was basically like playing in my face. You know what I mean? <laughs> You done brought this to my test. You done brought this to my table. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But, you know, jail, man, what I will say is I wouldn't recommend nobody to go there if you're not, like, strong-minded. Granted, if you can help it, never go to jail. But if no you're in a situation and you're and you throwing rocks at a penitentiary and you living in a, and you're in the field, you're in the streets, you know, I feel as though You gotta be strong minded if you go to jail. Anything you do, but if you're in jail, man, cause like, if I wasn't as tough as I was mentally, but you know, physically, I'm a little brawling. But yeah, if I answer. if I wasn't <laughs> as tough as I was mentally, I probably would have wouldn't have made it in there. Granted, I wasn't in there super long. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But it's just you see so much shit in there. Like you see shit that you'll never see outside. No, for real. You got niggas in that bitch, illing because they don't they don't got no drugs, so they mm, illing. Really? They throwing up like. You got niggas getting beat up mm. for their food and shit. Like, yeah. You got niggas telling niggas where to sit at. Like, go, matter of fact, sit crisscross applesauce. Like, it's just oh hell yeah. No. Like, it's it's no, it's vicious. Like, you know what I mean? And it's like for you, like, if you're gonna be in that lifestyle, you gotta know this is what come. Mm. Ain't no guns in there. It's only knives. And on top of that, you gotta use these motherfuckers. If no, you, for you know real. What I'm saying? Well, not granted. When I was in there, nothing ain't happening. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, okay. I literally when I was in that bitch. Soon as I walk through the doors, I'm walking on the tail, like I'm walking down. Next thing I know, niggas, I see this, this uh in a in a uh on there in a cell, I just see a bunch of young niggas. But they calling my government name. Oh hell no. So I'm like, these niggas know me. Mm-hmm. But I'm ain't trying to look at them because you know, you look, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep walking. Mm-hmm. Looked over, and I was just like, I seen my young niggas from down my way. My little man Kanye and them, I seen them. I remember them, they was kids. I was old. I was like 18, 19. They was like 13, 14, mm-hmm. 15. And I seen them, they like, yo. I'm like, oh shit, what's up, yo? <laughs> Granted, I ain't supposed to see them in this position. Yeah. But it was, it felt better because it was like, all right, some young niggas in this bitch that I know, that I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? That I never did no wrong to them. I never did nothing wrong by them. And I okay. looked out for them when we was, you know, Round the way. Mm-hmm. So it was crazy because it was like, all right, I'm 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 straight. Granted, I was already in my mindset, I'm straight. But when I was in there, I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Got the, I'm, I'm cool. And then I actually moved in that fucking cell mm. closer to, closest to him. Okay. Um, Because I was in there with a Muslim brother and I, I wasn't feeling him. I wasn't feeling him? Yeah, I was already crushing him. So He's already crushing What's wrong yeah. with the Muslim niggas, bro? It, it don't, he was it being too nothing. Muslim? It, it wasn't even that, bro. He just was, he just was like, he was an older guy. He was trying. I guess he was trying put put his belief on me, and I just was explaining to him like, "Bro, I mean, I'm in here to do my time and leave. Like, I, mm. everything else here today and gone tomorrow. You're not you here know? to get converted. Yeah, I'm not here for that. You know what I <laughs> mean? And it's nothing wrong with that. All of, I got friends. I got close friends. One of my older homeboys, Cash, mm. close friend, like this. He a Muslim guy. Mm. I don't got no wrong, nothing wrong with his belief. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I just feel like 
what's for you is for you. I ain't coming here, Muslim. I ain't leaving a Muslim. You <laughs> no, know for real. So, no, for No, for real. Shit, damn. That does not sound fun. <laughs> no, it, it ain't, though. And then, yeah, it, it ain't. And then, well, I ain't gonna lie. And then, but the worst feeling, though, the feeling, when you, the worst part be like, when you go upstairs mm. and they give you them yellows. Mm. That's the worst part, because you know, like, I'm really in here now. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the part where you be like, I'm in here. Uh-huh. And it's like, I'm gone. Like, I'm, I ain't gone, but like, I'm really upstairs. Like, damn. <laughs> I, no, but then, I, I was great for get a, a fucking real important piece. I cracked a nigga when I was in there. You cracked a nigga? Yeah, it was a nigga in that bitch. He was tall, dark skinned with dreads. Mm. I I think he could have been crazy or some shit. He could have had a mental illness. I'm not, I don't know. No, man, I don't get no excuse but, to that nigga. Yeah, but we was trying, every, bro, you know, it's a list. Like, they call everybody names so everybody can see the commissioner. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see the commissioner. This nigga keep going to the door. The CO come to the door, like, look, if if y'all, if he, he keep coming to the door, hitting his door, we're going to take everybody in here paperwork and flip that shit to the bottom. And then we go, the next shift going to read it off. Damn. And this was in the middle of the day. I, I went in there. I got in that bitch at maybe 11 o'clock mm-hmm. in the morning, bro. Yo, this yeah. was at like 5 o'clock. The next shift ain't come till 2 a.m. Damn. So bro. I'm like, nah. So I'm telling him like, I say, hey, hey um, you know, bro, like, please, like, can we just like, you know, can we talk? Like, you know, mm-hmm. can you just chill? He like, man, get the fuck out of my face. Like, like kind of almost pushed me. I ain't, bro. I'm a young nigga, bro. I ain't need much. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't need much for me to get, <laughs> get started. So, get started, no, for real. Yeah, I just swung on him. Uh huh. Cracked him. Boom. As soon as I cracked him, his body went back full and he fell by the toilet. Damn. And he, he went, hit his head? No, nah, I don't know if he hit his head. I just know <laughs> when, when I, it's a wall right there. Yeah. So I was standing on the side of the wall and then, because he had walked back from the door, it, it's only, bro, it's probably only like, Four feet, bro, between mm. like or oh, three feet, bro. That is tight as shit. Bro. Yeah, it's small as So when man. he when he came out, I just sit on the side of the wall and I just cracked him and he went blink up, blink up, <laughs> and he fell right in, in the middle of the toilet. He ain't away with the pile no more. He ain't no, he ain't complain. He ain't do shit <laughs> else. Cause when we was over that bitch, it was another nigga in that bitch. He was locked up out Jessup, mm-hmm. but he had on like he was. We all of us had on regular clothes. Okay. He was in that bitch with his. Blues on. He had a. a oh, like a, he was getting like parts, like transferred his, or something. Yeah, he had his unis on. He had okay. the, he had trial, I think, the next day or something. Okay, okay. And he had to stay in there with us, I, I guess, for transport. I don't know. Mm, yeah, yeah. So he was already locked up. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, no, please, like. No, but, for real. They put you in there with anybody. Yo, they yo, put you in there you with can, anybody. bro, you can get in that bitch with a monster, bro. No, for like, real. You, like you can be in there with a monster and you don't know, and then you you got young niggas going in there, they don't know. Nothing about jail. I didn't know nothing about jail when I went in there. It's crazy, bro. It's like you worked jail, you worked hard this this far not mm-hmm. to go to jail. Now you in jail. Now what was what was something from from that experience from these young niggas watching this right now? What are some maybe some a few things you had to give them to take from that experience to give to the next person? Don't go to jail, man. Seriously, like it's not. I ain't gonna lie. It's not a place. It's. I don't want like it's people that glorify jail that make it seem like it's fun. Granted, them niggas are these niggas are bozos. Yeah, like <laughs> when you in there, you get your time, and everything. When and you able to move freely and everything like that, you still not able to move freely. You still gotta, bro. Breakfast in jail was at five o'clock in the morning. What the hell? If breakfast? You, yes, bro. <laughs> if you do not go to breakfast at five a.m., okay, you will miss child. Okay, and then you won't eat until. Lunch time. What time is lunch time? I think one. I think one p.m. or twelve. That's I'm not, not sure. That's, that's 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 too much. It might be before that, bro. I never went. I stayed in my cell. Damn. It might be. It might be like. It could be like eleven, bro. It's it. All of the times is early, bro. Because mm. I think dinner is at like. I'm in the freak. I ate dinner late. Well, I don't even know what time it was. Cause it's another thing. It's no clocks in there. Damn. The only reason I knew it was at 5 a.m. was because I was counting the hours each hour when I was in there. Mm-hmm. So I knew that. And then when and then when they came around, I asked one of the little uh youngins, the little hoppers, because they let the youngins serve serve you. I let one I asked one of them, he was like, It's like five in the morning, bro. I'm like, damn. That's crazy. So I'm like, damn. But nah, just don't go to jail, bro. It's not a place for you. You know, I wouldn't 
recommend nobody. Like if you if you can not go to jail, bro, don't go to jail. I ain't saying tell nobody, but that's worse. <laughs> Yeah, if you you. Tell them somebody, you know what I mean? I can't recommend yeah, your safety. Yeah, I can't. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. But what I can say is, bro, don't go to jail, bro. Like, it, yeah. it ain't for you, bro. It's not. I told my little brother all the time, bro, I'd do anything for him not to go to jail. If I got to go to jail for him, I will. But, like, granted, I ain't going to want to. But if I had to, I will. But I don't want him in jail. I don't want, you know what I mean, nobody in my family Shit. in jail. God damn. Let's make, let's move, let's lighten this heart. Let's lighten this up. Let's lighten yeah. this up. Um, what? So this is a question I've been asked for the past few guests. Um, I didn't know it was a popular question. So, um, say if you're going out Friday night, and it's it's a it's a backhanded question. If you're going out Friday night, it's time to go out. How how much money do you have to go out, and what do you go out to do? I ain't gonna lie. I don't want. I don't want like pay all my business out there, but like. I can do anything I want to do mm-hmm. if, we, if we go out. If I go out, mm-hmm. like, like, it don't matter. I ain't gonna lie. Most of the time, if I go out and have fun, like, unless you like with your girl, like, if I'm with my girl or something, I would go, like, we would go out or whatever. The, the bill would be six, seven hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, it, I mean, it was a time point where it was like, you know, a hundred dollars. Seventy dollars, stuff like that, but mm-hmm. like it can get up upward to like six or seven hundred dollars. How much food is like? What are you eating? It's the drinks. I don't drink, but oh, you know what I mean. It's the drinks. It's the I don't drinks. drink. That's, that makes and then sense. You in a nice spot. You know what I mean? <sighs> By the time you look up, you were looking at the paper like, damn. Yeah, no. All right, they don't be playing them nice. The tip spots. ain't included. You know I mean? <laughs> but nah, and then so yeah, I pretty much do whatever I want. I won't go out. if if I don't have enough for me to like ball a hundred summers. Mm-hmm. I won't go out because it's like why are you outside? Yeah, I you feel have seventeen dollars. No, I feel you. I feel you. Know I mean, or why are you outside? You have five hundred dollars. Granted, that's a lot for some people, but if that's all that you have, you need to figure out how you can get five hundred more dollars. No, for real. You know what I'm saying, but and then yeah, usually you know I I probably go with my niggas like we go kick the bucket. We might go. Sometimes we don't even go out. Sometimes we just smoke for hours. Like you know what I mean? Or because it just be being that camaraderie, just mm. being around. Your guys, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit be cool. Like, you, you with your team. It's like, all right, I got my niggas. We cool. We all faded. You know what I'm saying? Or we might hit the booth and chill in the booth. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah. Or, or, or we might hit clubs. Like, we might hit, hit bars or clubs or something. But that's usually a typical, like, I'm going out type shit. Okay. So, yeah, yeah your answer to the first one is, this is like, you don't, you don't have really a price range. And the second one is you just basically just chill, chill the niggas and smoking or if you're going out to eat. That's yeah, basically yeah. what you end up doing. We don't really go out to eat a lot though. Like me and my okay. friends, like niggas. We probably eat like at the end of the night. Like we might go to <laughs> Waffle House at the like we'd have been out the other yeah. and shit. Uh-huh. But like, nah, most of the time. It and I feel like you only live once anyway, so No for real. It shouldn't really be no limit on you having fun. It shouldn't. Don't do no shit that you'll regret, but like you go have fun. I feel like that's a that's a motivational thing, especially back to when you said if you have five hundred dollars, you should be Expect to know how to get get five hundred more dollars. Yeah, that's some motivational shit. Um, talk about how where do you get that type of mindset from? And like, how long has that been with you? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I don't really want to keep giving this lady credit, but my mother, like, I, I got like I got a hustler. It's it's in me. I don't have a hustler ambition. Mm-hmm. I got the hustler mentality. Like I don't have it. It's in me already. It's in my blood. So like. I don't, I don't want to be a hustler. This is just exactly what I am. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like, as a man, it's, it's, it's just that much harder on us, right? Like, we, we ask to provide. We ask to protect. All of it. These are things that are asked of us, no matter what. What situation we in. No, it could be real. just our girl. It could be you got kids. Whatever. It could be for your family, your mom. For your, your we, damn self. Yeah, or for yourself. But yeah. this is something that's asked of us, right? Women is... It's... it's I'll say for women, it's harder for them to acquire funds because, like, you know, we, we automatically make more than them in the workforce. We could do the same job as them, and they, they, they would pay us more money than them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know what I mean? They automatically got the underhand. For the men, none of us should be broke because we can do anything. We can, physically, we can do physical activity. We can do, you know, hard labor, whatever. You can put a mask on and go get some shit. You know what I'm saying? So... I just feel like that that's the hustler part. Like you got you gotta always figure it out. I can't I can't tell my family I don't have it. 
I can't mm. say. Yo, I just, I don't know what we going to do. I ain't got it, you know. This and that. I can't. Especially when, especially like if you, if you, like if later on, like if you older. It happens. Yeah, I cannot do it. I got yeah. so many people that's, you know what I mean, looking up and depending on me. Entire household, like I can't, I can't just sit back and be like, oh man, this week I ain't got it, y'all. No. Lights got to stay on. Cars got to keep gas in them. God damn, Stomach gas. Stomach got to stay full, you know what I'm saying? Every car I got, take 93. So, mm-hmm. ain't no, I can't put. You can't put 87 in your shit? No. God can't. damn. I need, to, I need to go get some, I need to, I need to stop this interview. I need to go get some money. <laughs> Nigga said, no, 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 you don't, nah, don't got to do that. <laughs> but, like, you, you know what I mean? We still young, bro. Yeah. Like, that's another thing, bro. We can't never get caught up in the hype. We never, we can't never become a victim of, like, a victim of. The modernness or like uh the propaganda they put on us. Yeah, or, 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 or social media, we can never get caught up in that, right? I seen a fourteen year old post like I fell off. You never was on. You fourteen. No, for real. You, you know just, what I mean? Just learning how to fuck. Life, for yeah, real. life just started <laughs> for you. So never say that. Like you know what I mean? We young niggas. We young niggas. So yeah. it's like we still, Chris. We can fuck up for four or five more years. And we still got an opportunity to get to win, back. nigga. You, I, you better than me. I, when I say when I tell people that shit, I don't say four or five years. I'd be like, nigga, you got forty years to fuck your life up. You do, <laughs> you do. But I, I'm saying like, and you'll still be in your youth. Yeah. But like, you got forty, you got a forty ball, and still, <laughs> and you can still fuck yourself up. Like that, that's the part, bro. Where it's like, you know, it just be so much wasted potential. We never, mm-hmm. uh, we never get to see the full. You know what I mean? Whatever somebody could be, or whatever something is. Yeah, and, it, and and a lot of people don't realize. They think they're like, oh, it's just me. I'm just not doing enough. But it's it's some cases where like it's large infrastructures and shits like that that's been putting this propaganda on us to make us want to work at McDonald's for twenty years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They don't even they don't even know about that. But that's just the. I've been reading too damn. I've been reading too many oh, books. Oh, Chris, you ain't reading enough. I like that. <laughs> but um, let's get back to let's get back to this. let's talk. You 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 wearing jewelry? I want to ask you a jewelry question. Right. Um, for these young niggas buying jewelry, what, give them some advice and tell them to stop wearing the circle chains. Oh, the pendant. Oh, the memory <laughs> pendants. I share, I, that was my first chain. My first chain, I, I got my granny. I got my granny, my uncle. My granny, my uncle, my mother on there, and my aunt on that bitch. I got a circle pendant. It's the first one. It's a gold rope. I like ropes. Mm-hmm. I don't know why niggas, you know, they try to be disrespectful. Why? Ropes, ropes are nice. I like ropes, ropes are nice. You know what I'm saying? My rope was like eight hundred dollars, so I mean, I, I like ropes. <laughs> no, but, for a lot of niggas can't say that about their ropes. Yeah, but it's just like, whatever. But nah, the thing is, it's like always, always go behind your jeweler to like and and check like. Mm. <laughs> uh, always go behind that. But shout out, uh, Shine Jewelers and Mondamin. They was like the first people that ever like uh. Like open arms. I only spent probably like seven grand in there. Mm. Like, nah, I probably spent a little more than seven. I probably spent like maybe like eight or nine. But that's not but, bad though. Yeah, that's but like, bad. but you know, that's the part. That's the part where it's like you know you just always fact check the jeweler. Like not necessarily like say to him, hey, this and that third. Whatever you get, you mm. get it from them. You take it to another jeweler mm-hmm. that you do not know. Yeah, for real. On another side of town. You don't know, right? And you get them to do everything. Like, mm-hmm. get them to check it, check the weight, check how it look, everything. Just, you know what I mean? And they'll be able to tell you, oh, this is this. And they'll be able to tell you what kind of diamonds it is, if it's lab, if it's natural, mm-hmm. if it's mixed, if it's hand-picked. Like, they'll be able to tell you every single thing. If, the, if it's fucking... Uh, F color, F color is like the highest. I don't know nothing about that. F color diamonds is like the highest color diamond, like mm-hmm. like these VS ones and shit. But these not F color. F okay. color is a little, little bit more like this bitch. I only spent like ninety eight. Mm-hmm. So it's like the value on is ninety eight fifty or whatever case may be. Okay. But like nah, man. Like you always fact check the jewelers and shit Cause they because they they tell you get over it they get over you because you think about it, bro. You don't look like them. So they automatically don't think that you know what they know. Them foreigners don't give a fuck about yeah, us. Yeah, so you gotta, and that's the thing, you gotta like for me, if if I didn't grow up poor, mm-hmm. I would never want a chain. I would never want to buy a chain, right? Okay. But like I saw all of the guys above me getting them when I was a kid and everything, and then I always wanted it because it's like, yo, 
Like, this is my reality. This is where I come from. I want to have a chain. This is my, like, trophy. You know what I mean? This is the trophy that I get to put on my neck. Mm -hmm. It remind me of, like, Africa, how they had the medallions and shit. Yeah, the gold, yeah. They charged the yeah, gold and okay. shit. But, but that's how I feel about it. Um, yeah, always fact check it. Um, if it's fake, don't put it on your neck. I ain't going to lie. You should have break out. And you'll break <laughs> out. Um, if you can't diamond test it, don't put it on your neck. Because them YouTubers, they will catch you lacking. Yeah, right they up. will get caught lacking. And then, oh, you going to try, oh, no, I ain't with that. Um, oh, shout out Angel Jewelers in, in Houston. Okay. That's who did this. I like Houston. But, yeah, Houston cool. That's who, that's who did this chain. I but, love Houston, matter of fact. I went to a hookah bar. There was a stripper in there. But that's the part, bro, where it's like, um, that's the part, bro, where it's like, you know, you just got to always fact check and go behind them and shit. And then... Yeah, no, don't put it on your neck if it's fake. Don't don't try to put up an image and just try to wear it just because, all right, I'm going to the club tonight. You will get embarrassed by a honey or a nigga. A nigga will embarrass. Like, if it's fake, don't do it. Because you I feel like, yeah, you putting makeup on it. Like, if you can't be you, don't, you know what I mean? Don't be nothing else. Yeah, makeup is for the hoes. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's, it's not for us. <laughs> Yeah, you know bro. what I mean? They can go get BBLs and do all of that. The least we can do is buy a real chain, bro. That's real chain, real watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Yeah, I feel you. That's some good advice. Yeah, bro. So you don't you you personally don't believe into fake it till you make it. Nah, cause if I can't afford it, I won't. I just ain't trying to buy it. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's to each his own. Some niggas, you know what I mean? But I feel like we men, women can wear costume jewelry. <sighs> they can wear fake. They can jewelry. wear them eight dollars Ross we, outfits. We can't do it. <laughs> you think about a sheen cut, bro. Oh, my fucking sheen cut. Forty dollars, <laughs> eighty seven outfits. Bro, that's you know crazy. They selling dope over there, Sheen. Like, it's no way. $40, 87 <laughs> outfits. They selling dope over there. For $40, I get three polo tees. It ain't even 40 no more. It's like no, it's, 60 No, yeah, that's for real. They going up. So it's like, yo, you, you that's where you should know, like, you. this is your lane. That's their lane. Nigga. Let them do whatever they're going to do. Let them wear costume jewelry. Let them, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You, you, if you cannot afford it, you just don't do it. it. But, bro, before I was ever able to afford a chain, bro, I did not try to wear one if I couldn't afford it. Okay. I did not, bro. I never wore no fake chains. I uh, never, there's no videos, no you know, clips. It's not, you wouldn't even try it. I wouldn't even try it because it's like, the you person I am, I be around a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The first thing they would do is, that's fake. Just no, for real. The people that be really hanging around with niggas and shit, they, they know. That's exactly I would want my thing. niggas to tell me, though. I, look, bro. Don't keep coming around here with that yeah, shit. They like, don't, that shit fit. We need better better niggas, bro. People don't be doing that shit. You know? Every, you know, I'll be talking to I'll be talking to other podcasters and they be like, Yeah, like you need to like get like a stylist. Like you wearing a white tee every episode. Like nigga, I didn't even realize I was wearing a white tee ep every episode until I was. Until I realized it. It's a thing though, Chris, man. Ain't no disrespect to the other podcasters, bro. Mm -hmm. Fuck them. You Chris, this you. You in your element. I think so. I if think you came in this bitch with a beat on every time, I did it before. <laughs> it's your shit. It's my shit. It's your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this your shit. I came in here respectful. This your shit. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody tell you how to, you know what I'm saying? Your girl like it. She better. She don't got no choice. Your girl like it. If, 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 if you like it, your girl like it. They the people that you need to please, man. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? For real. I mean, I don't give a fuck. You got a million podcast subscribers. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that, man. I'm in this bitch T on. You know what I'm saying? Whooping shorts. Is. Crocs. I don't give a fuck. Chilling. You know what I'm saying? It's my life. I mean, it really is. This, this, but Chris, that's your personality. You're a laid back nigga. I won't lie. That's you. That's who you is. Since I met you, you've been that type nigga. I'm chilling. I'm Chris. I'm cool. You know I try to be. I try to be. Cause a lot, I feel like it's enough fake personality in the air already. Like I don't it's even too wanna, much of it, Chris. I don't even want breathe lie. in that same air. So. It's too much, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. It is. It's too, way too much. And then it's like everybody trying to be something they not, bro. Just be yourself. Just be yourself, man. It, being yourself, man. It'll really, really, really help you in the long run because it's the relationships that you you create. Mm. However, you meet everybody gonna view you differently, regardless. You can meet ten people. In the same room, and all of them with ten yeah. different views of you, yeah, different yeah. perceptions of you. But you know, you be yourself, man. They can never say, "Well, nah, you wasn't like this, or you ain't." Nah, <laughs> I was like that when you met me. No, for real. Yeah, 
shit. I, I was mean as fuck when you met me. You no, know what I'm saying? I, I kept just, it real when you met me. Yeah, yeah. For, I just look at it. I just look at it as like you can you can be yourself forever. And that can always be a part of it. But you can be somebody else that you can't last that. It's hard to be another nigga, man. It's hard. Niggas, you, you heard the phrase before? Take a walk in my shoes. It's hard to put on them side 13s. You know what I'm saying? I'm a 10. It's hard. To be, <laughs> I ain't trying to be, you know what I mean? I'm just want, I just want to be P, bro. That's it. Mm-hmm. If, I could be, if I could be anybody in the world, I want to be myself, bro. I ain't going to lie. What, what, do you want, what do you want people to... What, like, every artist has their message, you know, like, features, like... Like fuck bitches and take drugs. What is what is your message to your fans? Shit, make love to the beat. You know what I'm saying? Music is a universal language for love. You know what I'm saying? So you think about it. Think about the first time you heard a song and it gave you chills, man. Mm. That's that's love. Like that's the way you feel. Music. Dedication to Lil Wayne. Yeah, see? <laughs> you remember. Yeah. I think the first one for me was I was a big 50 fan when I was a young nigga, like a kid. I was, I had the G unit hat. I can see that. I can see that. I had the Dewey on. I was, man, man. That was, I ain't gonna lie. But mine was hated or love it uh-huh. by 50. Yeah. You going on that under does on top. But I'm going to shine only until my heart stops. That yeah, prime, MVP. that's that's the best fit. Like, that's, raps, nobody has ever been like that ever. Like, that's that prime era. Like, it's nothing that ever represented. That nigga, yo, 50, he might have had like, Weird years, like like after, I think 03, he shut everybody out, like in numbers. Sales, mm-hmm. he did the, the oh, most. He, no, nobody was even close. Nobody. Hove, he did more than Hove. He did more than fucking Nas. Anybody that was hot back in 03. Wayne, everybody. He beat, I remember they did the whole Kanye West 50 mm-hmm. thing. That shit was what? He beat everybody, yeah. bro. I ain't going to lie. He, he crushed everybody. And that, that year was his year, bro. Because mm-hmm. I think, yeah. That was when in the club came out. Yep, that was you when can find me in the club. Now, do you think like, do you, do you think a role that played into like his um like his like he just shined over everything? Do you think something that played a role in that was his like natural um like he was in the community like he's from that environment rather than like it's harder to make that connection like, if you're like fucking Lil Uzi Vert and you was wearing dresses hitting splits and shit. Like, nobody can relate to that shit. Yeah, you you're a product of your environment. I will say that. Like I done had fans say to me like, "Yo, nah, like." You just got it, bro. Like, you just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the first tape I ever dropped, um, first tape I ever dropped, it was a song that had no hook. And then, like, I just had a bunch of, a bunch of, like, people reaching out to me about, like, no, nah, I feel it. Like, I, I felt that. Like, I feel it in my bones. Like, this shit hard. And I just was like, damn. This is the first time I experienced somebody saying that they fucked it with me, like mm. on that level, because I never made music before that. Yeah. So I was like, damn, like, all right, he can relate. He feel this. Like, this is crazy. All right. And then that's then I tapped in the other side. I'm like, let me make make a tape, love songs from the block, for an EP for for the girls. And it's like thirty thousand streams, thirty seven thousand streams on that's that hard. on that EP. That's hard. So I was like, that's cool. I don't even have 30,000 followers. <laughs> I don't know 30,000 people. Me either. So it was just like, damn, all right. I'm doing something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, 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 one of the, one of the, one of the, I'm going to go, I'm going to climb down here. What's the, the what's some, what's something you want people to take from this interview? Man, I just want them to know, like, you never make moves unless you're hard in it. And you, you, Always give it your all. I know that sounds cliche, but like, if you don't feel like doing it, still do it. If it's something that'll benefit you, like, I ain't gonna lie, I said seven, but I ain't even feel like coming. <laughs> I, I'd rather was I'd rather get high, but this right here helped my career, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what m- move forward. You don't, your jump shot don't get better from you you shooting when you hitting all the shots. It get better when you missing. Yeah, it don't it don't it don't, it don't work when you when you in the fourth quarter. Yeah, work when you're in the gym type shit. And that's the part, bro. That's just what I want niggas to take from it. Like you know, never make a move unless your heart in it. You know what I'm saying? And any decision you ever make, you stand on it. Mm-hmm. Everybody in my family know that. Any choice I ever made, if it make me or break me, I made that choice and I stood behind that choice with both arms up. Mm-hmm. I never made the choice and was like, fuck, I shouldn't have did that. Mm. Nah, I would ever come from this shit. I'm sorry, but this is whatever it is. Like, however way it go. 
Mm-hmm. We live and we die by it. We do, you know for mean? real. We do. At the end of the day, that clock is going to stop ticking. And you're going to have, you're going to be O and you're going to be O and O because you ain't put up no shots. So you have what you want to do. Or you're going to be O and 100 because you missed all the shots, but mm-hmm. you got to put up them shots. Yeah, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. For real. Um, and the next question, the last question I'm going to ask you um, it's kind of, I don't know how you're, I don't know how you're going to personalize. It's kind of a personalized question. I'm trying to make this a new thing. Um, where was that? I mean, of course, us, us, our demographic, we've been broke before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where, what was that? What was that? It's a two-handed question. What was that amount of money that changed that made it that made it so you weren't broke no more? How much was that? And what X amount of money is, is a good kind of like re- retirement X amount? All right, so... I knew, all right, so the the first the the first amount of money I ever got that was like a large mm-hmm. amount of money, I got like twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand one hundred eighty seven dollars and ninety six cents. Nigga, you still remember that shit? Fuck yeah. That was my <laughs> first twenty ball I ever had. I uh-huh. I done had multiple twenty balls since then, but that mm-hmm. was the first twenty ball I ever had. Shout out Cash, my motherfucking nigga. He was the reason I got that 20 piece. Yeah, but, I need to hit up cash. Yeah. <laughs> it's name for a reason. But that was the first 20 piece I ever got. And that's when I learned that a 20 piece wasn't a lot of money. Mm. And then I got to the point where I'm I'm cool and I'm and I'm good. Cause like I think I think I ain't gonna say the exact number, but like I make over six figures now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I'm cool. Um, I ain't struggling. If I still had the same lifestyle I had beforehand, I probably have more shit. Cause like, cause I was more like, I had more of a poor man mindset. Mm-hmm. But now that like, I'm getting more, I, I, I you know, it's, it's typical theory though. The more money they give you, the more you're going to spend. Yeah. More money, more problems. That's a real thing. Yeah. So, but, yeah, no, nah, I got to that point, and now I'm, I'm I'm good. But, and then, like, I feel like a reasonable amount of bread for you, like, to retire from, maybe, i probably say, like, maybe a half a ticket. Because mm. if, if you got half a ticket... You you was able to make a half a ticket, so that's that's where you should be proud of that, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So you should be able to maintain that half a ticket and make another half a ticket with that that you got for real. I think that's enough for you to like quit. A hundred ball ain't enough for you to quit Mm-mm. because like I ain't gonna lie, that Uncle Sam get whatever he wants. You really even if you live in a tax free lifestyle, like you in the streets, mm-hmm. you still gotta pay taxes somehow. Somehow. Somehow you gonna end up paying taxes, bro. If not, you going to jail, bro. <laughs> no, for real. If you avoiding taxes, that you going to jail. You going to jail. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but I feel like yeah, half a ticket to be uh, is enough because like you can spend a hundred, you can lose a hundred, you can lose a hundred thousand four times. You know what I'm saying? Be left with one more hundred ball. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you you got opportunity, man. There's a lot of wiggle room, and and a half a ticket. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of wiggle room. Shit. That's that's a good answer. I mean, a nigga, I had a nigga come up here. This I had a nigga come up here and said ten thousand was enough. Did it change his life? <laughs> to like be like yeah, I'm good off of that shit. Like, well, I mean, perspective is everything. We done had a, a couple tens, yeah, a couple ten pieces. Mm-hmm. That ain't enough. I mean, gonna lie, bro. Shit, nigga. Ten COVID gave COVID gave me ten thousand dollars. That shit went to all the credit cards. See, yeah, ten ain't <laughs> enough. You gotta think about it. You can go to the casino any given night and win a five piece. So imagine that you just win it. You win in that bitch to, to spend four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You left out with five thousand dollars, just like that. It's not enough. It's not. not I ain't gonna lie. It's not enough. And bro. it's today's economy, nigga. It's Ugh. bad. Shit. That's why we need Trump. Trump twenty four. Oh, I guess. I guess I don't know. I guess I know your political views. Yeah, now. Trump twenty four. We need him. Yes, Trump. We do. Trump gave all the smokers money. He gave all the smokers checks. Mm. Trump gave all the homeless niggas checks. Mm-hmm. Trump gave the niggas that was working checks. Trump gave babies checks that was still in people's stomachs. <laughs> Trump that nigga, man. And I ain't listen. Everybody that we done ever had as a president has lied to us. Pretty much. That white man never told us a lie. Everything he said he was gonna do, he did it. He built the wall. He gave out that money. You know what I'm saying? He got reelected. Like he, you know, 
Trump, Trump, he that nigga. Hey man, don't get my shit. Don't this, this not a political channel. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you, we you, still two you niggas mean? on the screen, man. You still two niggas on the screen. Yeah, no, no, definitely. No, I, I agree. I mean, I mean, saying like, but the way it's going, I'd rather you vote for him than her. Nigga, she, she she's gonna be another, in fucking war. Yeah, and then she's another <laughs> person that is not comfortable in her own skin. That's what I'm she, saying. She's not black. She and she, said, and she try to be down with she niggas. Trying to be black and she niggas. ain't. And she ain't. She ain't black. She ain't. She, she started her. She started her shit. Was like, yeah, y'all. Yeah, that's, that's not life. you. That's not you, baby. We know a fake. We can point a fake out. That ain't you, baby. Well, and it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. She be all right. We be all right anyway. We'll be all right. If even if China end up coming over here taking all that shit, damn. Over, and reset, we'll be all right anyway. Um, I don't got nothing else. You got any questions for me? Nah, Chris. I mean, well, what made you start the the pod shit? Like, um, like it was kind of like I was live streaming a lot, and it was just like after watching back, like he's just like, why haven't I started a podcast yet? Like I don't know. It's just kind of like I just a lot of the shit I end up doing. It's like it's just like I kind of the way I, I like to learn shit that's gonna teach me forward type shit. Like, to learn shit that's going to take me forward and shit. So, that's kind of how I live my shit. So, I just ended up in podcasting, pretty much. Like, nigga, you good at it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to lie. You good at that shit. Like, this, this, I fuck with the setup, the aura, you very walk with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that part, that's the portion that we need. That's you know for, what? everybody yeah. need that. Everybody like hospitality, man. Like, you know what I mean? Services, that's one of the biggest industries in the mm-hmm. world. Hell so yeah. Like, you know what I mean? What? Okay, so, all right. Where did you learn? Like, where did I learn the, what? The technical, like the technicalities of the camera. Oh, the, YouTube. The ring. The, okay, all right. YouTube, Google. YouTube University. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. I, I, what, I'm a nigga. I'm from behind Emerson Village. Nobody in that whole part don't know how to do none of this shit. Oh, for <laughs> real, bro. Ain't you, nobody know how to do none of this. You start talking Chinese to him, nigga. <laughs> shit. You, 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 niggas barely even know what an HDMI cord is. Yeah, no, don't, so, don't ask an old person. Yeah, so it was. I had I self taught all my all this shit to myself, pretty much. Chris, yeah. you a monster, man. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to do this shit the polite way before I start. Before I put my fucking mask on. If I'm being for real. I'm being for real. I'm trying to make yo, my money. No, right yo, no, Chris, <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> right, yo, have I seen Chris Robin? It? Chris trying to rob. Yo, I'm like Chris. Oh shit. Rob, yeah, rob him though. Don't rob me, Chris. We, we cool. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I got you. I got. I already got my list ready. Like, yo, this, that's my man. Like, nigga said. Me. Nigga said, is that Chris? It's me. <laughs> All right, nah, you good, bro? Yeah, bro. So y'all better like this shit. I'm, I'm be kicking doors and cut. Come on, you gotta turn up. I'm gonna be you kicking doors up. for real. I'm be kicking doors. Shorty gonna leave me because I'm, I'm gonna be living a fucking conv- convicted Damn. life. She I'm gonna be- leave. Shorty know I put that mask on. She better not leave. You put that mask on. Damn. She don't be. She don't be with criminals. Yeah. <laughs> I had. To, I ain't gonna lie. I had to straighten my life out when I that. met her. Chris. For real, I'm being for. Real. I believe you, Chris. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I believe. I ain't. I ain't gonna lie. I believe you, Chris. For real. Um. Yeah. But that's that's pretty much it. I don't. I don't have. That's pretty much it. Okay. Um. Good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the number one show on the Iserv. Tune in next week for another banger, and we'll see you next time.